If you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel or want to refresh yours a bit, you definitely need to know how to design a YouTube banner for your channel. In today's video, you'll learn how to design your step-by-step -step in Canva and you'll know exactly what to include so that you make the most of it. Ready? Let's do this. Hi friends, it's Natalia and welcome back to my channel where I share super action ideas on content creation for entrepreneurs and creatives. And today I'm back with yet another Canva tutorial, which some of you asked about. We're creating our own custom YouTube banner or channel art as it used to be called. It's so important to design because it's like a business card for your YouTube. That's what people see first when they click to see your profile from your videos. And it's just good to have it neatly designed so that it reflects your brand. So as I'm always saying, brand colors, brand fonts, your brand identity should be infused into it, but it's not just about the visuals. Your YouTube banner should clearly communicate to your viewers what they can expect from your channel. And that's why throughout the tutorial, I'll be guiding you along so that you include the most crucial pieces of information there. So make sure to stay till the very end. All right, are you ready? Let's jump straight to Canva. So first, when we're in Canva, we just need to make sure that we're starting with the correct dimensions. And these are 2560 by 1440 pixels. So you can either go to create design in here, but we're going to search for a YouTube banner in here. And since it was basically called YouTube channel before, as I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to go for the channel art in here. And as you can see, you already have tons of different templates that you can use, but we're going to design from scratch. And since YouTube is available on many devices, you need to make sure your banner is always displayed properly. And this means that you need certain guidelines and certain areas in which you won't be able to design. And that's why I've created a little template and this will give you an idea of where you can design and how it will display on your profile. Let me go to file in here and show guides. And as you can see, this document already has guides um, attached in here. So that gives you a rough idea of where you need to be. And you can just go ahead and grab the guidelines completely for free. And instead of a usual image that you get, I've created a small Canva template for you with all the guides set in there. So it's just there for you in the description box below. I'm going to just go ahead in here and add a page and that opens up a blank page in here with all the guides ready. And as you can see, you've got the minimum desktop plus mobile. So that means that this rectangle is going to be displayed um, on those devices, then wider, you're going to see it on the tablet and then full desktop. So the full length of the design is going to be displayed when in full resolution. And then this whole thing, this whole wide design is based for TV screens. And if you're you're not using my template but just want to set up those guides for yourself you can go to file you can show rulers in here um, I've got the guides selected as well and then you can just drag a guide from here and if you're using an image as a guideline you can just set it to the image or set it to specific dimensions as well but I'm going to leave it as we already have some in here so next we want to choose a background and either a solid color or a photo may work. Um, if you want a photo, we can go to elements in here. You can select photos in here. Um, and as you can see, you have tons of different options. If you're looking for something, you know, that works for your particular brand, you can use it in there. My um, tip would be to use a photo that is somewhat clean so it doesn't distract from any text that you apply to it or any other elements but i'm going to go for a solid color because i've got plenty of different things to put onto this so let's keep it light and simple this is my brand color that i've got in here so we're going to stick to that for now now the next thing i want to do is to add a photo of myself because i'm creating that banner for my youtube channel and i am a personal brand so it's good to have that image in there so to reinforce the idea that i am behind this youtube channel and this is you know myself that you're going to see in there um, obviously if you're not a personal brand you can put a photo of a team in there if you're a business maybe something that really relates to a business. So if you're a florist, maybe some floral arrangements, things of that nature, you need to um, really think about what represents your brand. Because as I've mentioned at the beginning, this is really your business card in a way. This is your welcome page and you need to make sure that everything goes in line and reinforces the idea of what your brand stands for. Since I already have my photo uploaded, I'm going to go to uploads. 
and I already have this photo uploaded so I'm going to choose this one that's great and now is the first thing that we need to consider again this photo is not really full so we need to make sure that it displays correctly on the devices that we're aiming for since I am hoping for everyone to be able to view it on mobile and full desktop I'm going to worry just about the middle part in here and I'm not going to worry too much about the broader spectrum just because people watching on the TV still are going to be able to see that middle part maybe let's make it bigger just to be able to see it properly and the next thing I want to do is to delete the background and if you have a pro account you can simply go to effects and click background remover. Canva will do its job for you. And of course, not to worry if you're not a pro user, if you don't have it, you can go to many free online tools like remove.bg or an online Adobe Photoshop tool. You just need to have an Adobe account to use this one though. But now I've got this image in here and I actually want to make it stand out a little more. I want that to be the central element in a way. So it, it needs to pop. So let's go to effects in here and you can see the shadows at the bottom in here so select the glow option so let's click on it again and you can see some um, some sliders in here that will affect how the end result looks so first let's change the color to white because I want a white cast let's have the size a bit bigger because I want it thicker let's change the transparency because I don't want the blurry edge so let's go with transparency 100 and no blur and this is what it comes up to maybe a tiny bit of blur actually it benefits from it a little bit um, and I'm, I'll adjust the size to make it a little bit smaller just like that I like this effect so I'll leave it at that and this is what it looks like at the moment but as you can see in here in the main broad view it looks a bit tiny so I might want to make it a bit bigger just like that I'm going to drag it and let's crop it a little bit so let's crop it maybe to here just like that make it a bit bigger and fit the screen just like that next we need to add your channel name and if you're a personal brand it's obviously going to be your personal name it can be a company name as well or if you want something a bit more creative maybe if you're collabing with another creator you could come up with a creative name in any case you need to make sure that this headline this channel name really stand out, uh, stands out and is visible. So we're going to go for quite a bold font. Now my brand font, uh, my main font, League Spartan, is quite a bold font in any case. But if you're using a bit more flowy, maybe something a bit more feminine, maybe script fonts, you just need to make sure that it's big enough so that it can be read. So let's go for my name in here. I'm going to change the color to my brand color make it a bit smaller because it's way too big so let's go for that let's adjust it perfect so I made it a tiny bit smaller just to make sure I can include other elements in here that are crucial so now we can move on to include the information on what the channel is about and obviously this part can be expressed in so many different ways so for example you can include subjects you talk about so let's say you're a makeup artist it could be makeup tutorials and beauty tips and you can put it as a headline or you can maybe list it and this is also a great place for your mission statement so explain Explaining what value you offer and who you help and this is the option I'm going to go for today so let's go ahead to text and add a little bit of body text um, and my mission statement is helping content creators and entrepreneurs build strong online presence and grow their business so this is what I'm going for obviously for that mission statement in here but I want to change that font because my open sans light is not visible enough let's say okay Roboto condensed is absolutely fine for me so let's move it to fit that screen in here perfect maybe let's make it a bit bigger 22 maybe a bit bigger than that and I'm just moving it a tiny bit lower with my arrow keys just to make sure that the spaces in between are enough 
Now, another thing that I would add to the banner is a hint as to how often you're uploading or even your publishing schedule if you have one. You could say new video twice a week, every week, every fortnight, etc. Or say something even more precise like new video every Tuesday, 1 p.m. PST. So it gives people who visit your profile a sense of how often you're publishing and how often they should be coming back for more fresh content from you. And since this is quite a crucial piece of information, we want it to stand out as well. So let's go to elements in here. We're in photos, so let's go to all. And I have it in recently used, the square in here, but in lines and shapes, you'll be able to pull up various different shapes. But I want to go for that square in here, so let's click on it. Let's make it smaller into a rectangular shape and fit it to my name. So as you can see, the guides appear in here. Let's say that's where I want it to be. And I'm going to use my yellow in here. I've made the space bigger just so I can operate much more easily. And then I want to add the text on top of that button. And that text is going to have the exact same font as this one. I'm going to just duplicate that text from here. So what I want to do is click on it, hit Alt and hold it, and then drag it down like this and make it smaller by holding Alt, so it makes it smaller from both sides, and this is my new text. I just want to say new video every week, and this is what I'm going to put on that button in here. But now I think it's a bit overpowering, so I'm going to make it a bit smaller. So again, I'm dragging from here, but holding Alt at the same time, so it makes sure that it reduces the size from both sides equally, again, makes my life easier. And then I can just select both the elements in here and group them and then make the whole button smaller. And I think this is round about where I would want it. Maybe make that a little bit bigger so it fits that name in here. And I'm happy with what it looks like at the moment. And now if you think about it, this is basic enough. I could just get all of these elements in here and drag them to the middle and let's call it a day, you know, it's simple enough, it explains what it is, but I wouldn't go without entering another very crucial thing. And this is a call to action. And yes, just as with your posts on Instagram, your videos on YouTube, etc., you have a call to action on your YouTube banner as well. Why? Well, because anyone who visits your channel's welcome page will see any links that you include on the banner in the bottom left corner. Corner. But since they're quite small, they need that extra visual push so that the visitor's eyes can quickly land where you want them to land. And if you scroll up to that template that I've created, you can see that this is the place where the links are. So this is roughly where it displays. So if you're using that particular template, you can just go to that element in here, uh, go to copy, so Command C or Control C on Windows, and then paste it, control V, and it will pop up in the exact space that it needs to be. Again, depending on how many links you're including, that bar might be smaller, but it will be roughly in here. So you need to be mindful where you're creating your CTA. Now my links, apart from my Instagram, my Pinterest maybe, they include a link to my downloadable magnet. And this is the lead magnet that I was talking about before in many of my videos, and it's a free content marketing strategy workbook. And this is again, something that I want to include in here because I know that my audience will really benefit from it. So the next thing I want to do is add some text to point to that direction and say they can grab their own free workbook. Okay, so I've added my text from the text tool. Um, I've included my call to action in here, get your free content strategy workbook. And I'm going to make that box smaller just so that I can see two lines instead of one because we do have a limited um, amount of space. I want it to be nicely balanced. And let's change the alignment to right. Let's drag it in here. And now you can make a decision or whether or not you want to cut any part of your content. Obviously, if someone is displaying my YouTube channel on a full desktop, they'll be able to see that part as well. If they're viewing on tablet, they may see just a tiny bit of this in here. It's a creative decision that you need to make. I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller just to fit that size in here, maybe just to kind of go right to that edge because 
for people who will be watching on desktop, they will be able to see that in here with a nice margin. But if they're on tablet, they won't see anything beyond that little line in here, that guide that we've created. So this is fine with me. And now we need a bit of a color pop in here, maybe some arrows. So let's go to elements in here. Let's choose graphics and let's search for arrow. And let's go for that simple arrow in here. I'm going to make it a bit smaller, drag it along in here. Perfect. So I could maybe opt for a color in that case. Um, you could go for another yellow in here just to balance these two, but it doesn't look as good, especially against that kind of um, grayish bar, which will display in there. We will remove it at the very end, but just for our guidance, we can see it from here. Um, could make it maybe pink, maybe pink like that, maybe blue. Yeah, I kind of like the blue. So let's stay with this blue in here and maybe add some elements behind that get your free content strategy workbook as call to action. So again, we we make that pop a little bit more. And I'm using quite a few elements that look like brush strokes. So I'm going to look for exactly that in the elements. Great, again, let's go to graphics. And as you can see, there are tons of different images in here, tons of different graphics. For some of them, you will be able to adjust the colors like this one, for example, you go just in here and change the colors like this. But for some of them, like this one in particular, because it's more of a like a photo effect, you won't be able to change them. So make sure to use the ones that will reflect your brand correctly. I can just go for something as simple as that. Um, let's change the color to that yellow to balance out with that button that we've got and let's make it smaller like this and let's make that arrow position to the top. Perfect. And even make it a bit smaller. I actually may change it to white just not to overpower the whole thing. Perfect. Just like that. Okay, so now that I've got my call to action, I want to maybe add a few elements just to make it a bit more interesting. And you can search through elements in here just to find something that suits your brand. So let's go to more, let's go to folders in here and you've got the folder likes in here. And I've got tons of different kind of images, photos saved in here just if I need to use them again. This is a great way to, again, stash away some of your favorites in here. And I'm going to maybe just go for that one, change it to uh, my navy one, make it a bit smaller and let's position it to the front. Let's drag it along to this side, make it a bit smaller. And I'll position it backwards just so that it kind of stands out from behind that brush stroke. Now I'm happy with this part. I can now remove the links bar from here, but you know, we can leave it as simple as that, but you could add some more elements just to make it a bit more interesting, add a little bit of spice to my TikTok fam. So I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. I'm going to use something that I've created before, and this is the um, free lead magnet workbook. So I'm just going to copy it from here from the other design and then go back to that editor and just simply paste it in here, make it smaller and voila, this is you done. Again, you don't need to keep tweaking, keep changing different things, use what you've got already if it worked for you in the past. So this is what I've got in here. I can move it again to that edge, maybe so it's kind of slightly visible for the tablet and fully visible um, for that. Maybe I can add a bit more um, of a brush stroke underneath or maybe some of my liked elements from here. So maybe that blob that I use for many other things. Um, let's make it smaller like this. Perfect, just like that. And again, it can stretch underneath in here because on TV, people will be able to see that. If it's not on TV, as you can see, it's just a you know nice element underneath just to make sure that you're seeing different things. So it can be yellow, just like that. It's a bit overpowering, I feel like, but you know, could add it like that and maybe change the color to some darker blue. I kind of like that one actually. And maybe with the darker blue, it looks a bit like a cloud. Um, and maybe with this one, I can again, copy that part. So just hold that element in here, click Alt and hold, and then drag it along. 
and as you can see it added a bit of something to it so let's say i'm happy with that particular design this is what it looks like again if you're someone who likes to be a bit more creative you can definitely put that space to good use you can en enter some blobs in here as i've mentioned these these elements usually are found under organic shapes or blob um, so you can kind of put them in different spaces in here um, drag them along just make it visually more interesting I could change the color of that one to white let's say this one could be darker blue again you can add those interesting images but I just don't want that element to you know I don't want to overpower the whole image so let's keep it as that Perfect, so that, let's hide those likes from the left bar in here. This is what it looks like. If you want to see it without the guides, just make sure that you remove the guides. They can stay in there, they won't download with that visual, but you will be able to see, it, see what it looks like. I'm just going to add the guides just in case I need them for the future. Let's download them now. So you've got the PNG in here. And since I have just a blank design in there, I've got my YouTube banner guide in here. I don't need that. I can just um, choose page two for that one. Perfect. And let's hit download. This will download your image and we can upload it to YouTube. And now that we're on YouTube, let's go to your channel in here, then click customize channel and then it will open up that channel customization tab in your YouTube creator studio first thing you've got is the layout and we want the branding tab from here then there's the banner image in the middle so let's hit change let's choose the image that you've just downloaded from Canva and as you can see, it shows you the guides or on what's viewable on desktop, viewable on all devices. As long as you're happy with it, you've got that part in there as well. So let's hit done. Let's hit publish here in the corner. Don't forget that because otherwise it won't upload on your channel. Once it's published, you can see that pop up in here, go to channel and it will show you your brand new content art. And as you can see, download a free workbook is in here. You've got my links and this is that visual cue to get your free content strategy workbook from my channel. So anyone who visits, they can see that bit in here. So this is the content marketing workbook. They can see that call to action. They can see what my channel is all about and how often I post. So this is something they recommend for all channel banners to have. And this is the tutorial concluded. Now that you've got your YouTube banner ready to go, make sure to optimize your channel properly so that you're making the most of it and attracting the right tribe. So go ahead and watch this video now where I explain exactly what you need to do step by step. If you're looking for more Canva tutorials to make your content creation a breeze, head on over to this playlist. Are you giving your channel a facelift or just starting out? Share your channel down below because I'd love to check it out. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe with the notification bell so that you're reminded each time I release another super actionable video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.